Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It is July 20th, 2023. It is 90 degrees out and 67% humidity. It's like no breeze. Heat index of 113. So I am going to pull some honey. So I am a glutton for punishment, I guess. But uh, the sun's uh, setting. It's going behind the trees. So I'm going to try and get this row done here this evening. Uh, Tomorrow's supposed to be cooler, and that'll give me a head start tomorrow. I'm not going to try and do all of it this evening. It would just totally croak me out. <laughs> I've got the uh, Flexi Freeze vest on, and man, this thing is really good. I'd even go as far as saying a lifesaver on days like today. It keeps your core body, uh, body temperature cool. You still got to hydrate, drink lots of water, but uh, it'll keep you out in the field a little longer. It's uh, solid for an hour, like really good, and uh, 90 minutes, and after that you need to take it off because all your ice is melted and the cooling effect is not enough as compared to like if you had a breeze hitting you. So I try and get it off after about an hour and a half, but hopefully I can have all this done before then. I've got, uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight supers over here, and I've got uh, two uh fume boards so i can do uh let's see it's two four i can do it in three uh three groups of two because it's uh, two four it's six hives that have supers on them so <clears throat> i'm not sure how full they are uh i haven't checked in a while uh, at least over here the the nectar flow this year was awesome man it kicked in hard and long and strong man it was good and uh Let's see, it was last weekend I was going to pull some honey frames and check uh, some uh, moisture content. And I was, gonna, I was wanting to find frames that had some uncapped in it. So what I found is the bees have reclaimed a lot of that uncapped. And also I did find my high five, one of my strongest ones that had three full supers, was totally empty and robbed out. So I don't think it happened that day. Uh, I had all that robbing in that video because you see it's all the bees weren't messing with it that much so I don't know if it was an abscond uh, because of varroa mites possibly or if there was a queen failure in there and uh, their population just went down and uh, and they, they couldn't defend it I don't know what happened there but I would think there would have been enough bees left as strong as that hive was uh, to fill three supers that they could have at least made it to now, but I don't know. It may have been Varroa. Uh, when I was doing my uh, swarm cell inspections, uh, two hives I did find some Varroa in the drone cells. So that's a good indicator that you've got mites is to break open those drone cells in the spring that's down there on the bottom of your frames and look for the little dots on them and that, that will tell you. And I had two of those. And I, need to, and I'm, I noted where that was, so I need to see if that was one of those hives, because that could be a sign that Varroa took that out. Uh, I didn't look real close at the frames to see if there was the Varroa poo in there, you know, the little white specks. I didn't look that close. It was late in the evening, and I was like worn out, and I wanted to get those frames onto hives that could protect them, so I just took care of them real quick. I put 10 frames over on these two nukes over here, uh, five each so I just got double decker nukes and hive one it's not quite ready for a second deep I just threw that sucker right on top of there and took care of that took the uh, supers up to the house but uh, I'm going to be using a uh, honey robber uh, butyric acid it, I found it's the most economical and I have uh, two fume boards and I'll show you how to do this I just scored it on their little zigzag pattern put it on top of the supers and let it sit for a while runs the bees right out of there it works really good and i'm going to get them up into the apartment and uh, the supers and i'm going to uh, get my dehydrator on them or my dehumidifier and run them in there uh, for a while uh, a previous video you probably saw where i pulled the frame i did find one frame over here and uh, it had some open nectar in it and i tested it and it was uh, i think 24 percent 22 or 24 i don't remember anyway it's way too high and I checked it yesterday and it's 17. So those open cells in that apartment with the dehumidifier going, it got them down pretty fast actually. So that's my plan for all of this. I'm gonna put it in there 
and run the dehumidifier on it for a while because it's been super humid here this uh, summer. So I'm concerned about even the capped honey being a little bit high. But uh, I think my cap test was uh, at 19 and a half, if, and uh, that's a little higher than I would like it to be. So let's get started, and I'll just time lapse this and get it going. I may stop and explain a few things as I'm going along. Hopefully I can get done, and uh, I've got my uh, escape vehicle over here. In case I get too hot, I'll hop on the uh, four-wheeler and book it out of here. <laughs> that's what I did last year. Uh, I was treating uh, Varroa with the... Uh, the vaporizer, man, you got that respirator on, it's hot, and man, going through all these hives, whew, it was bad. Anyway, going to get me a big drink of water and get my fume boards, and let's get started. I uh, saw so another thing I use to help keep cool is this little fan, and man, these make a big difference. It's got uh, three speeds. I usually run it on number two, and it's got little flashy lights if you want to put the lights on. <laughs> I don't use the lights, but uh, yeah, I really like these. I'll put links to this uh, freeze vest and this, this little fan, and uh, I'll pin it down below and put it in the video description. But uh, on days like today when there's not much wind, these are really good. And with this uh, Guardian B suit and the flap opens like this, I just put my suit on and then get this thing put in here and get them situated after and that works great and i aim them right up on my face hits me right here and man they are awesome and uh they come down on the price i think they're like 15 bucks now yeah they're great all right here's my fume boards and you just squirt the stuff on here and I'll show you that real quick. So it comes in a container like this. If you get it from Man Lake, it may all come like that, I don't know. It comes with a little dispenser nozzle. And the best time to buy it is after honey harvest when uh, nobody needs it and they got plenty of stock. But that's what it is, is butyric honey robber. And I've been getting it from Man Lake. There's probably plenty of other companies out there. But it's uh, butyric acid. So that's all there is to it. It's not the best smelling uh, honey robber type liquid. There's some out there that smells pretty nice, like Be Quick. But Be Quick costs a lot more, and it comes in a little bitty spray bottle. And I tend to use that more if I'm going to do a cutout on a house or something like that. And I don't want all this funky... Uh, it smells like cherry, cherry smelling vomit is what it smells like. But it's really not too bad once you get used to it. The bees hate it. They, you got to be careful if you're doing this out in the sunlight. You want to be careful not use a whole lot because you'll run all the bees out the front. So just put a little squirt on there and I'll show you here in a second. Let's get started. So I made sure and got my smoker lit really well today. Because I uh, don't want to be messing around with a smoker that's not putting out much smoke. And I think it's this hive or that one, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. Is a little pissy, so they're already after me. Yeah, they're mad. So, something to help combat the heat. See, I put that 2x4 block in there. That raises the uh, lid up and uh, gives them more airflow. Helps them dry the honey faster. Curious to see how much honey we have in here. Let's just take a peek. Man, I would say <laughs> this super is completely packed. It probably could have used a second one at some point. Yeah, look down in there. They're full and extended, which is what we want to see. So this is running nine frames in a 10 frame box. So the honey protrudes out beyond 
the frames a little bit. And this particular Super, I don't have the little metal insert in here that spaces them out for you. So I've got a little uh, thing with the handle that spaces these evenly. So, and uh, you set your uh, frames in there, you put it on there and wiggle it around and it gets them spaced out even. So you got your nine frame spacing in there. And it works pretty good actually. So let's get the uh, robber on there. Get this where you can see what I'm doing. So just uh, put some little squiggles on there like that. And it don't take much. And if you overdo it, you will know because all your bees will be hanging out the front. And it takes, I don't know, a couple minutes, five minutes. Doesn't take long. So we've got two supers here. Lots of bees up here. So this particular super has a lot in it, but it's uncapped. So I don't know how far along they got on this or let's see if we can get a frame out of there oh and there you can see the little metal spacer that does your nine frame spacing you can buy those and they just go in with little finish nails but see all the the comb isn't closed off so let's pull one in the middle and, and just take a quick peek at it and no bees coming out the front over here yet so we're still good <laughs> I'm curious to see how much of it's uncapped and if there's any that will shake out. And the reason I'm a little concerned about shaking out uh, this time of year is the alfalfa field that's two miles to my north is blooming. So if they're bringing in fresh nectar from that, it will be liquid. So it's about half capped here and this side is all capped. So let's do a little shaky shake and it dripped pretty darn good so this is going to need to be dehydrated for a long time a few days so I bet you they are bringing in that fresh alfalfa nectar so some of these hives that are strong I might come back and put return one super in fact I've got three up there from that high five that failed uh, that that's disturbing to me that that's like that but uh, we need to get it off so let's uh, do our squirt here. And the one below may be all capped for all we know. We'll take a look at it once we get down there. So the bottom of this trailer is solid, so bees can't come into the super from underneath. And I'll put these inner covers on there that I put tape across the uh, hole in the middle. And be sure and put the notch if you have a notched one up. So it'll isolate these and not let uh, Robin start. So this one doesn't have a notch, so it doesn't matter. Take us a peek here. Uh, it's pretty much cleared out. UB's on top. But can't figure out which way to go probably give it a couple more minutes and uh, we'll move this sucker so this hive right here it's all uncapped and I remember I moved this super over here uh, at a later time towards the end of the flow and it's pretty much all uncapped so man i i don't know i'm thinking maybe just leave this there i hate to do that i want to get it all done but i don't know it's thick nothing's coming out of it i don't know maybe i'll get it off of there and i'll decide while it's up there i may move it back down here I hate leaving something on with this much in it. So we'll move our 
being bored to the next hive. So when you take your super off, always make sure you leave the uh, excluder behind because you might have a queen on there. And occasionally I will accidentally get one pulled up without realizing it. And you got to carry it back over and fix the problem. Wow, that dude is huh, full. Lift with your uh, legs, not your back. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That could not be any four. I'll tell you what. One B, get out of there. Now I'll go ahead and take this excluder off for now. Set it aside. Thank you for your service, bees. Yeah, that, man. They don't get any heavier than that. Alright, let's get this one. Let me uh, get the spot ready down there for this fume board. She's a full one. Well, this outside one here is about three-fourths and this one here too. So, looks good though. We may have to come back to get that second super with this, but we'll see how it looks. Curious to see the weight on this as well, since it's all uncapped, mostly. Eh, it's about two thirds of the weight of that one. So I'm not gonna use two trailers this year. That got to be a goat rope. <laughs> I'm just gonna make multiple trips. So yeah, this is pretty much cleared out. Scrape off this excess up right here. Let him come clean that up. This one looks, this is packed just like that first one. Oh. Okay. Don't bend your excluders and don't tweak on the little bars and make a little thicker space because you'll have a jailbreak queen get up get through that thing then the, on the next year and you'll be going how did that queen get up in my super it's like I got termites how in the hell do they get clear up here sheesh okay Scoot on down to these two. Probably go four high on this. Nothing in here. I'll just leave that here for now. And uh, I can move it. I'll do that later. I'll put this down on that very first hive I pulled that off of. And uh, it was really strong. And they're not touching this one for, for whatever reason. Some of these I put on later in the flow as hives were building up and some, you know, didn't get to it. And I try to jockey my supers around, uh, you know, trying to figure out which hive needs one and needs space and I would throw it on there. So this, we'll just leave it for now. And uh, I'll put the dummy brick on it. Uh, hey dummy. I'll put it in the front because up means clean, so this will mean something else. <laughs> All right, we got two on this one. And top looks mostly full. Maybe not all capped. Yeah, that'll be good. Here's what we're looking at. You know, it's mostly capped that side uh, and about 50% on this side. A little bit of dripping, so that's probably stuff they brought in recent. So that we'll need to be sure, check the moisture content on these before we start extracting them. Need to have it down uh, close to 18.
doing a weight check on that hive. It's not real heavy. <clears throat> I have to look at the records on this and see when when it got built up and, and the backstory on it. Let's see, this one we're leaving. Got two more. Yeah, we can get finished. So, actually three more counting this one. So in past years in honey harvest, I would have bees just going crazy. And odd about this year, not so much. It tells me there's a little bit of nectar flow going on. Because I've done it when it's just a madhouse. Check the weight on this one. Yeah, this one is way heavier than that hive. So we need to make sure they got enough uh, food to get them through winter. Temperature-wise, I actually feel pretty good. Sun's setting. Uh, if there was a breeze, it'd be great. Uh, the little fans are keeping me pretty cool. Ice vest is keeping me cool. I'm not hot at all. I'm sweating some. But that's because it's just so dang humid out. I could probably uh, get on over there and do a few more after this load uh, if I feel like it. But it's a lot of work to get those unloaded, situated, and where they need to go. So we'll see how it goes after that. I must have been impatient. Yeah, there's bees on here, so we need to give it some more time. Oh, this one's pretty built. Or if there's a single over there I could grab. Just so I'd have a full load. Okay, high four over here is uh there's two singles over there, one's nothing in it. I was just trying to get it drawn out. They didn't get it done. Uh that was on the hive that uh, we did the combine on with the laying workers. But the high four, it uh it's got a mostly full super, so we'll run over there real quick. So yeah, over here we've got three, two, three. A lot of those are new hives right there. And three and two. And that one there, there's no uh, frames in it. That's number five that was robbed out and it had three. So here's number four with one. And we'll get it going. And this one I put pennies. I put two pennies on each side to give them a little crack and some ventilation. Boy, they were bearding really bad for a, for a while. Don't want those pennies on there for this because we want to ventilate. We don't want it to ventilate. <laughs> All right. So I've been wearing these nitrile gloves and I started my second pair because these were getting sticky from uh, propolis. So I just wanted to get a fresh pair and I left these out in my wagon for a long time. So they've been laying out there probably three to four weeks and uh, I noticed I had a blow out here and a blow out there. So the sun probably broke these down. Something to think about. Uh, be sure you put them up. I, I forgot my fresh pair up in the barn and I was like, well, I'll just grab these. They'll work. But uh, yeah, I think the UV uh, tears them up. All right, let's get this off of here. So I'm thinking now I can get down here in the morning and do these right around sunup when it's cool and uh, get this done before work. And uh, I'm going to try that if I can get my butt up out of bed before the sun gets up.
Okay, we made it up here in one piece, so uh, got everything taken off, cooling off. But, man, I'm soaked <laughs> with sweat. But uh, gonna hit it with this uh, Greenworks blower here. Pennies. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one on top in there. I will probably return that. Okay, let me show you what's going on in here. Got them set up there. And uh, most folks probably know, but uh, those of you that don't, that may be your first video you're watching. This is uh, an apartment that uh, we lived in while we were, uh, before we built our house and we lived in this for five years. So now it's, it's a honey house slash craft area slash you know vegetable drying whatever and we still got our kitchen down here and a fridge and a restroom and all that so works out good so i've alternate stacking them here and still got a few bees in here <laughs> got this fan here i'm going to kick onto it i've got the air conditioner at 85 so it's not going to get you know cold cold in here and make the honey thick so this is a humidifier and I've got a hose hooked up to a drain here, uh, a dehumidifier, if I said that wrong. And it's 53% in here now. I think I've got it set on 50. And uh, yeah, and I'm gonna put it down to 40 and run it there. And this thing puts out a little bit of heat, so it's basically a reverse air conditioner. There's a condenser in there that collects the water on it when it's, it's colder than the room and uh, then it drips off and that's how it collects the water and pulls it out of the air. So you need the air conditioner to keep it from getting like meltdown hot in here. So we'll let that run. I'll kick this fan on here. So we've got this fan running here and got good airflow on these and got the ceiling fan going also so I will uh, kick this up on high as well so the bottom supers on a board keeping it off the ground and uh, we'll make two three more stacks in here and uh, run this dehydrator or dehumidifier and right here's what we got 56 percent right now we're gonna pull that down to 40 and the temperature will stay at 85. yeah got my little fan here charging back up <laughs> so real quick this is the uh my test frame that i checked out uh a few days ago and it it was too high so it's been in here running with that dehumidifier uh, I did have it down on 40 uh, for a few days a percent uh, to draw it down and it read uh, 17 on the uncapped where it was like 22 24 and I didn't check the cap side but I'm sure it's fine now but uh, we'll do some tests on this just not tonight okay it's the next morning it's uh, 72 degrees the temperature's falling a little bit we've got a uh, cool front coming through which has brought some rain so there's a big rain to the north of me like we're right here and that's all coming across so hopefully that stays to the north of us and it doesn't delay so it's uh, just before 7 a.m 
it's man it's nice out here so i brought down uh, three supers that were empty from that hive that was robbed out and uh, i'm going to place them on some of these really strong hives that have three or four supers on them so they'll have at least some space uh, and not have a lot of uh, bearding but anyway uh, let's get started i'm just going to time lapse this part unless i see something interesting i want to show you and uh, then i'll break and uh, talk about whatever that is so let's get going uh, hopefully we can get get this done in a couple hours and i can get in there and uh, get to work <laughs>
Okay, here is the haul. So we lost three supers, so I uh, have uh, 22 and the majority of them are full. There's a few, two, three, there may be two thirds full. But uh, yeah, I'm not complaining at all. Had a great harvest considering the start to the year. So I got them in here stacked like this. I uh, ran the dehumidifier all night last night at 40%. And uh, it's pulled it down. You can see it's at 41. I've been in and out the door and brought in all this these uh, other two stacks of honey. So and keeping it 85 degrees in here. Yeah, so just like in prior years, I'll do a, I guess, the honey contest, and uh, I'm gonna raise the ante a little bit so the winner will get uh, $50 on this, this go around. So we'll make up for inflation and all that. So yeah, so you saw me pull all the supers, the time lapse, and uh, probably my reaction to how heavy some were when I lifted them. Some were, man, they are packed full. But uh, really strong nectar flow and uh, despite the bees being like really down after the, the first part of the flow and me actually having to feed them and uh, to get them through until the, the flow started back, uh, I'm surprised at this, as many bees as I lost to uh, starvation. So luckily I caught it when I did. But anyway, so we'll do a, I guess the weight contest. So you got the number of supers and uh, some people get really scientific on it. So. Uh, we'll see how it goes this year. So $50 to the winner and uh, next video will be extracting and weighing. So we're we'll looking forward to that and uh, we'll catch you on the extraction video. Y'all take care.